Scott Inger, and welcome to your 14th Blender 2.6 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be quickly showing you how to make, uh, uh, I guess, an ocean or some water scene. So let's open up Blender 2.6. And you're going to need 2.6 for it to actually do this. So let's just delete our default cube. And we're going to shift A and add a new plane. And now we're going to click on this wrench over here for object modifiers. We're going to click add modifier. And we're going to go over here and click on ocean. As you can see, it automatically comes up with a new, or it, it modifies the, the plane so that it looks like an ocean almost and if you want I'll teach you guys some quick uh, things about this you can change the time uh, to, for repeat X you can tile it these things are tileable and the Y will do it the other way and essentially you can make yourself a nice big ocean and then for the resolution, it makes it look better. It does increase how many vertices and vertices are. So if you're going to increase that, you might want to be wary of your graphics processor and its ability to handle many vertices and such like that but you can also change the time so if you click on the time and move it along it does it it changes in time let's let's go to one second okay so just to show you guys quickly how to make a ocean simulation I want to hit I and you want to click rotation or location rotation scale or lock route and scale and then go to the end and then look at 250 and we're gonna have this run it 20 frames 24 frames per second uh, so we go hit 25 or 250 divided by 24 equals and then we're gonna put this time input over here 10.41 second 10.416 six. Okay, and then all you have to do is hit I and do click on the same thing we did last time, and then we go to the first thing, and it didn't do it correctly. Oops. Yeah. Okay. So this is what I did wrong. Okay. So hit one, right click here, hit I, insert keyframe, and then we're just going to go to the end, and then we're going to hit 10.42 to round up, and hit insert keyframe, and then we're going to go to the beginning and watch the ocean simulation play. But it's taking this a lot of power for it to render on my computer. So let me pause that for a second. I want to decrease that so we can see it better. Because it takes a lot of CPU power to do that. And then we're just going to go to the first one and we're going to play. And as you can see, the ocean is moving. being simulated by 
Blender. And what we can do, so we can just quickly add a material, change that to a blue hue, maybe like that, and go into texture. And now we can actually truly see that the thing is doing that. So we can hit G and Shift Z to move it all the way along that axis. X, uh, those two axes and you can see that we have some ocean movement uh, let's click back in here we're going to look at this we're going to make this a little darker as I can tell oh, I know what the problem is hit N now what you're going to want to do is you're going to switch to for your shading you want to see switch to GSLS or GLSL shading just hit and to close that and uh, you can change this color again it's not available to see and there we go how about we quickly change that just to sun so we can see it looks like in the sun and it looks mighty awesome for what it does okay well thank you guys for watching I see you guys in the next tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy these videos and please view my other video of the this S O P A and P I P A uh, bills and Thank you guys for watching. I'll include a link to that video in the, uh, in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys. and Please uh, go check out that video. See you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye.